Okay, so today is a uh, sponsored video. It's uh, sponsored by Rex Qualys, and uh, let's go ahead and open it up. We'll do a little unboxing here. So uh, this is, uh, it came in a box. I opened the box, realized what it was, uh, just by feeling it. I was like, oh, I know what this is. So let me get it out of here, and we'll take a look at it, see exactly what we got. Now this isn't exactly a paid sponsor, they, they just sent it for review, but I've actually owned one of these before, so I was excited to get it. Um, I think it's a very good kit, I already own one, uh, I would have just reviewed it, but it's missing about half of it now, because I've had it for over a year, and I've used a lot of the parts in permanent project so this is just a uh, basic starter Arduino kit they also sent me the Raspberry Pi kit I just don't have it at the moment it's coming in the mail still so let's open this up and take a look uh, I like the their little um, motto there of make science fun so first it comes with a actual physical CD and not the mini CD you know some people don't have the drive that'll support the mini CDs uh, I know a lot of people don't have optical drives anymore. They're starting to become a thing of a past. But this has your libraries, the code, PDFs that really cover it well enough. I, I, I've gone through this disc before. I've used it. I, I like their instructional kit that it comes with. Uh, so this is good. Uh, they also have it online if you don't have an optical drive to, to get it out of. Uh, and then you have uh, various different things. You have a seven segment display uh, and a four digit seven segment display. Uh, this would be the um, temperature and humidity sensor here. Uh, what is this other one? Oh, the other one, that's your IR sensor for the, I'm assuming this came with a remote control then too. Uh, it's been a while since I've had the complete kit. So I, I like their resistor kits because not only are the bags labeled with them, but it, it's written on there too. So you don't have to read the bands every time you need to get one. Um, one of these little membrane keypads that come in most of your kits here. Uh, it's, uh, I've actually never used the membrane keyboard. The uh, um, breadboards that come in these, uh, they are pretty decent quality. The one that came in my kit that I had two years ago is the one that every time you see a breadboard in a video, uh, that's what it came from. It still hasn't given me any problems yet. Sometimes the really cheap breadboards, uh, the pins, they, they wear out really fast and they quit working. Uh, this one's definitely not the highest end one, but I would put this at a mid-grade. Uh, definitely a, a good uh, breadboard. I don't no, no complaints there. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the super soft ones. They're like $10, $15 for one, but uh, not the cheapest one. Uh, comes with a uh, micro servo here, and then a little motor with the little fan. Uh, fa fan truly just that way you get that visual. Uh, really good for when you're showing kids how to do stuff with these. Uh, and look, although I might mention kids in these, uh, the, this is for anyone. Uh, adults, they, they, these projects get plenty complicated for you to learn something as an adult. Uh, this comes with all your other various things. Uh, I can see the little um, tip sensor in there. Uh, this is a... Um, Relay, God, I'm having brain fart. Uh, a couple of potentiometers are probably both 10k. Let's see here. Uh, yep, two uh, two 10k potentiometers. It doesn't say they're 10k, but I know I know at least one of them's 10k, and it just says two pieces. Um, we can take them out and see if they're both 10k. Uh, we got a buzzer. Yep, a photo resistor. All right, here we go. Let's see if they're both B103. B103 and B... Yeah, so they're both 10Ks. All right, I got bored of uh, just digging through the box here, so I put something together real quick. Um, I didn't use the uh, Arduino Uno that came in the kit because I wanted to show something. Uh, that Two of my favorite parts of their kits that they sell is they come with this little guy here, which is a little power supply for the breadboard uh, that you can select between 5 and 3.3 volts. A lot of the kits don't include this. Um, they're getting more common now, uh, but they've, they've always included these in their kits, and I, I really like them. Um, and then the other thing I really like is their Arduinos that they sell are labeled uh, here on the side, too, because sometimes it's kind of tricky lining up, especially if you're trying to use the reset pin. 
the reset pins right here and then it's uh, three three volt line right next to it and when you need to um, uh, short the reset pin to ground to keep it in a reset state for whatever reason you could accidentally uh, drop your wire in that 3.3 and uh, put it put a load on that um, uh, voltage regulator that you really don't need to be putting on it. So I really like that they uh, label them here on the side. Unlike pr pretty much all the other Arduinos you get out there, see so they're they're not labeled on it. Uh, so yeah, this is a simple um, setup. Kind of looks a little complicated because of the wires. Uh, these are the, this is everything that came in the kit was used here. Uh, I didn't use anything else other than the uh, Arduino. I just I used a different one because I wanted to be able to show this one in, in the thing here. Um, so everything else came in the kit, and this is not something that is in the instructional here. So I'll put the sketch down uh, below in the description here, so that way you can do this one yourself. Uh, but all that you have to do is wire up the uh, screen here the exact same way it's uh, wired up in the uh, example of wiring up the screen. And then you add a wire over here to uh, uh, 8 and to uh 13. Um, those, those are the only two differences you have with it. Actually, no, it should only be 8. Sorry. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. Um, told you it's kind of hard to read where you're coming from. Uh, it was not 13. That's a ground. I, I don't know why I had a brain fart on what I made here. Uh, so this one's ground, and this one is going to be your signal. This is a frequency counter. This is just a, a simple frequency counter. Uh, it's not the most accurate in the world. It's something uh, I put together here in like five minutes just to kind of give you a quick down and dirty frequency counter. It's, it's only accurate to like uh, 400 hertz to like uh, 100 kilohertz. So... Uh, let's let me get the um, frequency generator out and we'll we'll just take a look at it real quick and see how well it works or doesn't work. Here it is powered up. Um, you just have the uh, frequency generator here set to uh, 20 kilohertz here and um, it keeps you know it has a little bit of jumping around going on on the Arduino. I, I've checked this before with the oscilloscope. It, it's really accurate. It really doesn't jump around like that. So. Our, our frequency counter is not perfect here, but I'm sure if you took some time and went in that sketch and cleaned it up some more, you could get a little more accurate. Uh, and I put this together in like five, ten minutes, so, and we just show it. It goes up, so yep, we're at uh, 50, and uh, it, it bounces a little bit, but we're at 50 uh, kilohertz on here too, so... You know, it, it works. I'll show you. Uh, if you just go to zero, it's just going to read out of range. Um, uh, you'll see in the sketch how it does that. Um, but, yeah, it, anything over, like, 140, it just reads 125 uh, kilohertz. So it's really only accurate up to, like, 100 kilohertz right there. It still jumps around a, a fair bit there. And then uh, let's go ahead and take it down to... There we go. 40 hertz is where it starts working at there. So, um, yeah, it it's just a fun little project. So, uh, if you don't have a frequency counter, you know, it's something that could get you by until you buy one too, and you can make it with this kit. So, uh, everything that I used in in this sketch here came in that kit, even though it's not one of their things. So that's that's kind of my big thing about getting the kit is a lot of people go well I already know the basics I don't need a kit to teach me the basics well maybe you don't have the collection of stuff maybe you don't already have the LCD maybe you don't already have the Arduino anymore um, I, I really recommend just getting yourself a, a simple little kit like this uh, there like I said in the beginning of this video this isn't a paid sponsorship they sent it to me for free to to do uh, a review of it I like their product I, I've already owned one of their kits for a really long time now uh, and so I was very happy to to do the review of this um, so I I'm doing this review not because they paid me I'm doing it because I like them uh, as a company so uh, hopefully you guys like the video uh, I know it's not completely unbiased they did send me a kit for free um, but in my opinion it's it's a good kit for the price um, okay well uh, again the sketch for this is going to be down in the description again all that you do wire it up for uh, uh, 
the screen just like they do in their example there's no need to cover that again it's it's in the example it comes on the disk and just put a pin on pen 13 and upload the sketch that i made uh, i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video